Thank you, Boyd, for that report on to Education Matters. As Cabinet Secretary, Professor George Magoha has directed school administrators to allow learners dawn in religious attires such as hijabs and turbans. Speaking during the commissioning of CBC classrooms in Nandi County, the Education CS said school heads should not discriminate learners on religious grounds. Paul Muniu with more. Education Cabinet Secretary Professor George Magoha has directed all school heads to allow students don their religious attires while in school. According to Magoha, the school management should adhere to the directives and allow students wear veils, hijabs and turbans to curb religious discrimination. I'm informed that there are still a few schools that are harassing children because of the manner they dress and sometimes discriminating against them. Let all children be given freedom in school to wear uh, the hijab and uh, their corino turban and all the others. Magoha has at the same time urged school management to set up worship centers in school to promote good values. Principals are being urged to create some prayer place for the children when they want to pray. Even if you, you regiment them, that even if it is not for all the time, you can say, okay, if you belong to this religion, uh, this place will be available to you at this time to pray. And I think this can be done uh, depending on different schools and how you, you agree with yourself with the PTAs and everybody else. I believe strongly that this will encourage the children to be more uh, receptive to our discipline. He was speaking during the commissioning of a CBC classrooms at Namgoi Secondary School where he assured Kenyans that 10,000 CBC classrooms will be completed before the next government comes in place. In terms of the second phase, which was 3,500, we intend to complete most of them by election time. Should there be a small balance, we shall be bold enough, since I am not a politician and, and you can judge me on that one. Only God knows who will be the president. I don't know. And whoever comes will be my commander in chief. So I hope that uh, before that person is sworn in, you can allow me to finish the classrooms. Because the children will still be there and they'll go to school in, in January. Paul Monio TV 47.